So LeBron's deciding he doesn't want to be the GOAT, he wants to be known as a quitter, so he's retiring after this season. It's not exactly what he said, I'm being overdramatic, but it's a real possibility that LeBron James retires. I personally think he's just going to take a break for one year, come back when Bronny comes back, but in today's video, we're actually going to try that. We're going to get rid of LeBron, we're going to make sure he can't play this season. I hate to say it, LeBron fans, but I gave the dude a spinal injury for this season. And for the Lakers' sake, I might add a few Denver Nuggets legends to this team. I know they just got their ass whooped by them, but for the sake of all the Lakers fans who might watch this video, I don't want you guys to be too sad and depressed. Because while LeBron is injured, the Lakers are going to still be getting a good superstar in Alex English. Alex English is Mr. Denver Nugget to me. You could argue Matumbo, you could argue Carmelo Anthony, but I think of Alex English. The lineup without LeBron is D'Lo, Alex English, Dariq Whitehead, Jared Vanderbilt, and Anthony Davis. While the Lakers get absolutely sauced and currently have a 2-12 and record, let me know in the the comments below what you think LeBron's plan is. You think he's actually going to retire? You think he's messing with everybody? You think he wants to play with his son? Let me know. And also try to predict the Lakers record next season if LeBron didn't play. You think they're going to be a garbage team and chill out around the 11th and 10th seed like they did most of the regular season? Do you think it'll be the same exact thing just minus LeBron? They'll barely make playoffs. Who knows? I don't think Anthony Davis can carry a team so I would say the Lakers are screwed. I know AD carried a team when he was in New Orleans but he's not the same animal anymore. Shout out Darius Garland representing Cleveland. Most valuable player averaging 29 points 11 assists and a steal brandon miller rookie of the year he played better than scoot russell westbrook wins six man of the year backing up damian lillard they also drafted scoot so they have three really good point guards on that team i don't know how they're gonna do it now alex english actually made the all nba third team averaging 26 points seven rebounds eight assists a steal and a block he's a hooper one of the most talented scorers of all time he does not get any recognition and not enough i just saw this while scrolling but currently talon Horton and Tucker is injured because he's starved for attention. If I go to Austin Reeves, they got a tongue twister in here. I'm going to attempt it, but I have ADHD and I've been drinking coffee, so it's going to be really hard for me to say words properly. I'm giving it one go and it's staying in the video. So in the middle of Little Italy riddled some middlemen who didn't do diddly. I'm basically Eminem at this point. Dr. Dre, sign me, get me on a song, sign the label. I don't know what I got to do. This is just like real life. The Lakers are the seventh seed taking on the second seed of Memphis Grizzlies. The first round Memphis Grizzlies, what's up? What's happening? They end Oh my god, they made the upset just like real life. Lakers win in six, but they're playing Denver in the second round instead of the conference finals. I have a Jokic jersey on my wall, so hey, shout out to the big man. Can we beat them though? That is the real question. They have a two-time MVP. We have an injured LeBron, Alex English, Anthony Davis. We lost our stereotypical meme white player for the Lakers, so that kind of sucks. Goodbye, Austin Reeves, but we got a game seven. Without LeBron, are they still going to beat Jokic and Mike Malone and the Nuggets and all the people hanging out in Denver smoking way too much? much weed for their own good no the lakers suck and they lose in seven that's fine we didn't want them to win jalen brown averaged 37 points in the conference finals so wish he'd do that in real life and we'd have this finals right now celtics and nuggets but no they're about to get swept i'm gonna cry myself to sleep probably but we sweep the nuggets and win a title jason tatum won finals mvp averaging 41 and 11 if he did this in real life i would be shocked if the celtics come back down 3-0 you'll never hear the end of it from me i don't think it's gonna happen i'm gonna be honest but if it does i am not gonna stop talking about it till the day i die I'm sorry. Usually, I don't really care about the Celtics that much. Like, I'm a fan, but I'm not going to be insufferable. Nah, screw that. If we come back down 3-0, I'm going to be the most annoying NBA fan you've ever met in your life. LeBron shockingly didn't retire, even though I just injured him for a whole season. So, hey, it works out. We're going to find out where Bronny goes. We're going to team him up. They're going to be the best father and son duo since Dominic and Rey Mysterio. Hopefully, it doesn't end like those two then, because then LeBron James would beat the shit out of his son on the biggest stage of them all. But, good for Bronny, though. He would be banging a very hot Australian woman, so it's a way win win in the James household. The Spurs have the number one pick back-to-back -back years. They take Ian Jackson right here. Ron Holland goes number two and number three. The Rockets take Bronny James. LeBron is going to Houston. That's a very good city for LeBron. He's not going to get distracted by all of the strip clubs because he has Savannah. Savannah, Savannah. I know I said Savannah real weird. I, I know it's not how you, I know it's Savannah, okay? Savannah, una na, or it's Havana. You guys know that song, right? Oh my god, I feel so bad for the Lakers right now. They lost AD and Alex English, but at least they have Nicholas Claxton now, right? I'm going to heal up LeBron, act like a doctor, send him over to Houston, give the Lakers a former Nuggets. I'm not even lying. James Harden is actually on the Rockets. I didn't do anything. The game just decided that was a good spot for him to go. It's okay. We're going to trade LeBron for Harden straight up. Harden, have fun in LA. I'm sorry I'm taking you away from Houston. I'm sure Magic City is crying. We added an all-time great score last season, and we're doing it again this season because Carmelo Anthony is going to team up with James Harden, Mo Bamba, and Trey Lyles 
it's going to be the greatest team you've ever seen. Trey Lyles is about to average 47 and 13. You're not understanding how good this man is. Because he's LeBron's son, he's starting. I don't care that they have players better than him like Kevin Porter Jr. and Eamon Thompson. He's LeBron's kid. They want to play together. I'm making it happen. So LeBron wearing number six. He's about to go crazy for Houston. He takes one year off and he's the MVP. I don't know if he took a bunch of steroids during that time off or what, but he averaged 27, 8, and 7 with a steal and a block. Winning MVP at the age of 40 is insane. If he actually did it, the whole NBA fan base would lose their minds. I doubt it's possible, but you never know. The NBA is full of surprises. Amen Thompson won sixth man of the year for us, averaging 13 and 8 off the bench. That is huge. Victor is your defensive player of the year with three blocks a game. The dude's like 7'5", seven, 7'4". Seven, I hope he's getting that many blocks. Absolute unit. Alex English, remember that guy? He actually went to the Philadelphia 76ers. He's now averaging 33, 7, and 7 for them hooping. Carmelo Anthony just came out of retirement to return to the Lakers. He's a hooper. He got the hair from his Nuggets days, and he's averaging 34, 8, and 6 with two steals a game for the Lakers. The Lakers are in the play-in, and the Rockets are the first seed. They might actually play each other in the first round if everything goes well, but I don't know if that's going to happen. They are the 10th seed. They lose to the Thunder. Sorry. No Carmelo versus LeBron. Instead, we're either going to light the beam, or LeBron's going to beat them in the first round, and everyone's going to cry. I don't see Sabonis, but they picked up James Wiseman and OG Anobi. I respect De'Aaron Fox. Dude is an absolute hooper. I think Swipe is going to be one of the best point guards in the league within the next two seasons. But he's also not LeBron James, so he's getting swept in the first round. Sorry, I don't make the rules. LeBron had 40 and 11 in game four. Homie is not playing around. What do you have in game one? 36, 9, and 6. He's averaging 39, 9, and 10 with two steals in four games of the NBA playoffs. Second round, LeBron James is going up against his former friend and Kyrie Irving, along with a white boy duo from hell and Gordon Hayward and Luka. Christian Wood is there. Some dude named Taylor Hendricks is there. Don't yell at me and call me a casual. He's probably only like in eighth grade right now. So the fact that you know him means you wike. I just said wike. Oh my God, I sound like a five-year-old trying to make sure that my kids eat broccoli or something. I meant to say like. If you're really in tunes with hoops that you're watching middle schoolers and juniors and seniors in high school hoop, you're him, dude. I've only ever paid attention to Zion and all the crazy generational athletes when they were in high school. That's about it. Speaking of high school, dude, Austin Rivers might have one of the nastiest high school mixtapes I've ever seen. Him, John Wall, Mac McClung, Nico Maninian, and the boy Zion, obviously. Can't forget about him. We're playing the Grizzlies in the conference finals. LeBron's gonna make Dylan Brooks lose his job in this series, and then they're gonna go to the finals. And the team he's playing in the finals is the perfect opponent, none other than the Cleveland Cavaliers, led by Evan Mobley, who won Eastern Conference Finals MVP. And then you got LeBron, who's on a tear right now, just won regular season MVP, 36, 11, and 9 in the Western Conference Finals. Dude also averaged three steals and two blocks. I don't know if you guys saw that. We win game one. LeBron James almost had a 39-point triple-double, so good for him. And I swear to God, Steven Silas, I'm gonna track you down and write on your forehead that you smell like cottage cheese while you're sleeping. I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna get a nice Sharpie, write it on your forehead saying, I smell like cottage cheese, and that's what you're gonna get, because you keep trying to play Kevin Porter Jr. over LeBron James Jr. I don't think you understand basketball politics, all right? I said in one of my last videos, LeBron's probably in the mafia, which I have a video idea doing with that, so stay tuned. But at this point, honestly, I'm starting to believe it. LeBron's 100% in the mafia. That's why his son's good at basketball. They hacked his DNA. Or so. We're down 31. Are you kidding me? Evan Mobley is dropping 40 and 16. Donovan Mitchell had 36. Garland had 29 and 11. Oh my God, they are hooping. And LeBron did nothing this game. He only played 14 minutes. He fouled out real early. Game three, he only had 29 points. They're not looking too hot. LeBron's looking to come back down 3-1 for the second time in the NBA Finals. So here we go. Game five of the NBA Finals. Can the Rockets come back down 3-1 or the Cavs going to ruin their day? Come on. LeBron is an Ohio legend. You can't do that. They did it to him. They don't care. They said, screw Ohio legends. We don't give a shit about LeBron. We got Donovan Mitchell. He dropped 70 plus in a game. So LeBron wants to seriously retire at this point. But no, I'm, I'm not letting him. We're running it back. One more season with Bronny. This might be a reach and some people might not consider him a Nuggets legend, but he's an NBA legend and he played for the Nuggets. So Allen Iverson, welcome to the team. I also added J.R. Smith because who doesn't love Henny God? Pars, bogeys, eagles. I'm sure those are all words that mean something to golf fans. And J.R. Smith, but I have no idea what any of that means. I've just heard it while playing Wii Golf. Either way, it is the final season of the video. LeBron and Bronny, Lakers with AI and Carmelo reincarnated and reunited. I don't know why I said reincarnated. That's probably not the right word because they're both not dead, but their basketball careers are dead and Allen Iverson's already gone bankrupt once. Also, holy cow, I made this Lakers team way too strong, but they lost to the Heat, just like every good team. The Heat just too good. Shout out to Jimmy. I've given the Lakers too much power. Carmelo 
Carmelo Anthony is your MVP, averaging 33, 9, and 8 with two steals, two blocks. This video is fun. It's kind of a shout out to Carmelo and LeBron, who both might be done after this season or next. I don't know. I really don't think LeBron's going to retire, but the video is too fun to make, and maybe a lot of people will click on it, and I'll gain some new people. So if you are new, do all the annoying YouTuber stuff. If you don't, I'm going to cry and probably stab myself with a really rusty fork. Either way, Allen Iverson made the All-NBA team. He averaged 33, 5, and 7, scoring in bucket loads. LeBron James averaged 30 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks at 41 years old. Him, 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 him. Absolutely God. Oh, and shout out to Brandon Miller. He's Rookie of the Year. He's on the third team. Guess what? Victor, first team. That's right. Victor's the better rookie. Are we surprised? No, not really. And the perfect first round matchup has happened. We have the Rockets versus the Lakers. This is insane. This is unacceptable. Bronny James has a dislocated left patella. I'm going to work some magic, play a little bit of God, heal this man up for one last playoff run. Allen Iverson, Trey Lyles, and Carmelo Anthony are taking on LeBron, Bronny, Jalen Green, Tari Eason, and Jabari Smith. That's right. I mentioned Trey Lyles. You know why? Because the dude's the GOAT, the best Laker of all time. Not LeBron, not Kobe, not Magic, none of them bums. It's Mr. 18 and 9, Trey Lyles. I actually didn't expect him to be the number two option, but good for him. I mean, number three option. Completely forgot about Allen Iverson. Sorry about that. My man just couldn't see it. Actually, technically, he's taller than me. I, I get he's short in like basketball terms, but then I realize I'm a short midget kid from Maine. Either way, Carmelo and AI went crazy in game one. The Lakers take a lead, but LeBron ties it up, dropping 41, 11, 7, and 7. Bronny had a 21, 13 double, double. Both the James boys are playing good. They're playing great. I sounded like a 1940s commentator right there. Boys, what am I saying? These are men now. LeBron's been a man for like 30 years. The guy's ancient at this point. AI drops 52 and 10 to take game four for the Lakers. LeBron only had 27. They played almost the whole lineup here. Game five, who's going to win it? LeBron or Allen Iverson is going to go to Bron. Oh my God, 51 point triple double. He wants to win. Playoff Bron has been activated. Allen Iverson had 43. This honestly might be the greatest playoff matchup anyone has ever seen in real life. To all the fans of this fantastic, crazy universe that may or may not happen, I don't know, maybe multiverses are real. You know how wild that would be if like every 2K simulation was just like a different universe and Ronnie 2K is some master wizard like Doctor Strange or some shit? Man's just opening up portals to find NBA players who can actually tolerate him. Lakers take a 10 point lead with only three minutes left in the game. The Lakers are fighting back, but it's not gonna be enough. LeBron beats his former team, AI and Carmelo go down. Melo had 39, Allen Iverson had 35. The rest of the team did not step up. Derek Whitehead shot four for 11. Bronny James actually led the team in scoring. So did his dad, they both had 35. LeBron also had six steals, 12 assists and seven rebounds. Second round, LeBron's playing the Lakers once again. We've seen this matchup a million, or not the Lakers, the Grizzlies. What am I saying? It don't matter, we win in six, no one cares about the goddamn Memphis Grizzlies. I mean, maybe you do, Rick Ross, he's from Memphis, right? He probably cares about the Grizzlies. Conference finals, we're going up against Australian man himself, Josh Giddy, Shea, and Chet, old Chet. Chet, I hope you actually play next season and you hoop. OKC's gonna have a season quite similar to what the Kings did this year. Honestly, I think they're gonna make it pretty far in playoffs, not gonna lie, because right here they just beat LeBron in five. LeBron goes out sad and sorry. Oh my God, I can't believe it. He's gonna retire. And him and Bronny aren't gonna win a championship together. LaMelo versus Shea in the finals. LaMelo sweeps him. Oh my God, LeBron. How are you gonna end up letting Jordan's team win a championship in your final career season? This would be Jordan's seventh ring, right? Does he get a ring for being the owner? I have no clue. LaMelo averaged 28 and 16. That's insane. LeBron retires. He calls it a career and I'm going to call it a video. If you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, all that YouTuber stuff. Love y'all so much. Appreciate y'all. Follow the Twitter. Join the Discord. I'm out. Peace.